Hey, what's up YouTube, Dallas and S here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you an AI chatbot I've been programming that will help you practice conversation and kind of get the necessary repetitions in for vocabulary and grammar, but not in the boring context of a flashcard or something that's not actually gonna to transfer to conversation, but in a conversational context using the conversation game, something I discussed in my last video. So we'll get into all the details, but first let's just jump in and see what I can do so far. There's gonna be some, some kinks for sure because it's technology, but let's see what we can do. So I'll start in English and then do other languages. We sleep in the mountains. Y'all sleep? No, y'all don't sleep, y'all dance. We dance? No, we don't dance, we drink. Y'all drink? No, y'all don't drink. Y'all cook. Boy, the game is that we're going back and forth and it's kind of silly in English, but now imagine doing it in a Spanish language you're learning, which we'll I in Spanish. So we'll just do some simple Spanish sentences. Tú bebes agua. Yo bebo agua? No, yo no bebo agua. Yo como frutas. Tú comes frutas? No, tú no comes frutas. Tú comes carne. Tú comes carne? No, tú no comes carne. Tú bebes jugo. Yo bebo jugo. No, yo no bebo jugo. Yo nado en la piscina. Yo nado en la piscina. No, yo no nado en la piscina. Yo cocino en la piscina. ¿Tú cocinas en la piscina? No, tú no cocinas en la piscina. Tú cocinas en la cocina. Okay, now let's try playing in French. D'accord, continuo en français. À toi de commencer avec ta déclaration. Tu bois de l'eau. Je bois de l'eau? Non, je ne bois pas de l'eau. Je mange du pain. Tu manges du pain? Non. Tu ne manges pas du pain. Tu manges du bœuf. Je mange du bœuf? Non, je ne mange pas du bœuf. Je bois du lait. Tu bois du lait? Non, tu ne bois pas du lait. Tu parles le portugais. Je porte le portugais? Non, je ne porte pas le portugais. Je parle le portugais. Non, tu as parlé le portugais. J'ai parlé du portugais? Non, j'ai pas parlé du portugais. Je danse le tango. Alright, cool. So there, I did something where I kind of changed the tense and then I responded back in the tense. So I did past tense just to practice past tense. So it's another function where it will meet you at the tense you're at. And you can play around with that. You can program in ahead of time what tenses you want to practice, etc. Okay, now let's do it. Play the game in Portuguese. Claro, vamos jogar em português. Você pode começar com sua declaração. Você come frutas. Eu como frutas. Não, eu não como frutas. Eu jogo futebol. Você joga futebol? Não, você não joga futebol. Você joga basquete. Eu jogo basquete? Não, eu não jogo basquete. Eu toco violão. O que significa? O kimi mexe a garica da sai. What does that mean? <laughs> What? Japanese? Dang, this thing's struggling, bro. So there you go, you can basically play this game in any language effectively, and the technology is getting better and better every day. Um, I wanna talk a bit about what the difference is between practicing with AI, what the limitations are, what I see other companies in doing out there wrong for the actual purposes here of learning a language, and how you should think about this moving on forward in the future. So our whole goal here is to be able to communicate with flesh and blood human beings. At least that's my goal. I don't know, people are getting weirder and weirder these days. Maybe your goal is to find like a AI girlfriend and whatever, man, that's more power to you, not really. But I think most people who watch this channel don't want that, they wanna have actually have real human communication. And in order to do that, you need to get your conversation practice in. You need to actually go out there and interact with people. Nothing can replace real flesh and blood human interaction. In the language learning world in general, because it's language and it gets so cerebral, and language is the thing that is supposed to kind of capture the real reality. But when you get caught up in language, you don't re you don't realize that language is not reality. So what do I mean by that? 
people will sit here and they're just kind of like, oh, I have to get the vocab, get the grammar, and get the words, and if I did, 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 and then they think language learning is just that, but then they leave out everything else that happens in the conversation, my body, my hand gesture, my interpersonal connection, the context, how I feel about that person, so many deep things, and this is really what I want to kind of teach people and, and talk about in my methods and expand your horizons away from this very, very narrow, just simplistic, reduced version of things to this wider, bigger picture. And even if I got like a Apple Vision Pro on and I had a perfectly AI generated video of someone who looked just like a person talking to me or whatever, um, it can get really, really good and really, really scary in that way. But again, what was the point? Like the whole point is for me to actually vibe with people. So you can get to this point where you're like speaking with this, you know, weird AI robot that does whatever you want and serves all your needs. Then you go to like the streets of Colombia and you start talking to someone and you're like, oh, you're not doing what my AI chatbot does with me. Ah! And then all of a sudden all your skills go out the window because you're now dealing with something you can't control, something you can't predict as well. And that's the whole point. So don't leave out all of the skills you learn just learning how to deal with human beings. That's probably the biggest takeaway I get from this. So, you know, I was hesitant to get into AI stuff. You know, I have a technology mind. I'm really good at figuring out how to make technology do the things I want it to do. Uh, but I, my passion is getting people to actually interact with human beings. So I'm only developing this tool as a means to give you a stepping ladder to interact with human beings. So what I'm developing with my conversation practice in terms of my practice teaching other people, like coaching practice rather, is a kind of hybrid model where uh, we're continually recruiting and training up charismatic, you know, humans, really human, human, humanistic humans, you can say, people with, with the spirit alive and playful and, and friendly, and then putting that with our students and then coaching them not just on the technical aspects of pronunciation, not just on expanding vocab and grammar, but how to get into the spirit, how to use their body, how to engage, how to connect with the person more and then that's kind of like the the foundation of the coaching but in between I can program these little like mini games these little mini interactions and tools with the AI chatbot that you can practice and um, you know get some reinforcement on your vocab on your speaking just get those sentence reps in and prepare yourself so when you get into the call again or when you get into the real world again then you will have at least practiced that back and forth, you will at least practice formulating those sentences in real time. And that will then allow you to get even more out of that real interaction with the person. So that's how you should think about it. Um, final note to say is when I see other AI chat things out there, one, they make the mistake of relying too much on text again. So if you keep putting subtitles and text up, you're gonna interfere with your pronunciation, with your hearing and all the other aspects. And then two, um, it's not enough just to like talk with someone. Like if I just go to my AI chatbot and say, Hey, speak to me in Spanish. Be like, okay. What do you want to talk about? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, let's talk about the weather. Okay. What about the weather? Do you want to talk about? I'm like, I don't know. You, you, you pick. And I'm like, okay. Um, nice clouds you're having. What do you think about the clouds? I'm like, oh, come on, man. And it's just like, all right, if you, so you just got to go in there open. It doesn't work. So you really need to have a structure. That's why I created the conversation game to give people a structure with certain rules so that once you get those rules, you can focus on the flow. And that is something that I think uh, most people programming these things don't really know how to do well because they don't actually have experience coaching people. There's a big difference between just getting something to say a bunch of words in Spanish or French and understanding how the human mind and spirit works, people of different personalities and different skills and, and shortcomings. How do you meet them where they are? How do you flow channel them? How do you build them up? Those types of skills um, are, are hard to come by and that's the kind of thing that I try to master in my own life. So, and then program that in to my methodologies to my teaching of other trainers and all that kind of good stuff. So if you find this conversation and topics interesting in general, then I encourage you to sign up next week for the webinar workshop series I'm doing on how to upgrade your conversation practice. It'll be a two week program starting um, the last week of, like the last Sunday of February and is going for two weeks. And the reason why I'm doing it is actually because I'm trying to test out these tools, test out these uh, different interaction games, 
and different tools I'm creating for people to practice conversation. And I wanted to kind of just get people's feedback, test it out, see how things work. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description below and check it out. I'll, I'll price it low enough so that, you know, it's worth your time and, and not something that will break the bank. And um, final thoughts are to hug your loved ones, go out into the world, don't spend too much time on your computers and laptops, and keep flowing, my friends.